Hello, hello, and welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I'm the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. I am so freaking excited that you are here today. This is part five of our five-part series on our five jump screen. If you missed the first four videos, I will link those below, so make sure you check those out. Um, we've got Millie Life gear as well in the comment section below, which I'm super pumped about. Um, and then all my gear that I use to create wonderful content for you guys. So today we are talking about three different strength exercises that can help you with the five jump screen and are gonna help improve your accuracy, your rhythm, forward lean, lateral lean, and that knee valgus. So let's get going. All right, so a strength training regimen is really important to not only build muscle, build strength, build power, all right? But it's also going to help us have more control over our body, over our muscles, over our skeleton, which is gonna help us to be more accurate in hitting the same spot on the ground. And that's especially important for athletes because you wanna know where you're moving your body, where that foot is going. Um, you don't wanna step on a puck, you don't wanna step on a ball, you don't wanna step on someone's foot, right? So the more accurate you are, the less prone you are to ultimately injury. Um, but then just general population, being accurate, that could be the difference between taking a step down off the curb versus hitting the curb and falling off the curb. So accuracy is not something that is just reserved for our athletes, but for everyone. So let's jump in. Today we've got three different exercises. We've got a split squat, we've got a bird dog, and we've got a three-legged dog. Okay, so this is a strength block that I would use with some of my clients that are working on building single leg strength, but also working on their accuracy and helping with some of the other components of that five jump screen, like their forward lean or their lateral lean, knee valgus. This one kind of hits all three of them. So I'm gonna go through one time demonstrating all three exercises. And then I would suggest at home going through two sets, to four sets of these. If you're a beginner, never done these, start with two sets. If you're a little bit more advanced, go to three. And if these are familiar to you and you've done them before, go all the way to that four sets. Our first exercise is going to be a split squat. You can do this with just body weight or with weights. You're gonna step one leg forward, one leg back. This back leg acts like a kickstand. So it's the front leg that's going to be doing all of the work or lifting about 90% of your body weight. So you're gonna go slow, controlled down. You'll pause right before you get to the ground, so we're not touching the ground, and then big, powerful punch up, okay? So from the front, it's gonna look like this. Slow, control down, pause, big, powerful punch up. You wanna watch this knee, okay? If this is diving in towards the midline of the body, we wanna push the knee back out so it lines up with our foot and our shoulder, okay? If this feels good, you can add a weight, holding the dumbbell at your chest. We'll go slow, control down, big punch up. We're gonna do this for eight repetitions. If this is too easy with the single weight, you also have the option of adding another weight. Big punch up, and as you're punching a hole in the ground with your front foot and punching a hole in the ceiling with your head. So this, if you watch that first five screen jump video, this is the same lowering and pushing the ground away when you jump. So we're working very similar muscle groups or the same muscle groups as we do when we do that five jump. This is five, six, and I'm keeping my chest up. So if you have something on your shirt, you want to be able to see it the whole time. So our next exercise is going to be a bird dog. So you're going to be on all fours. You're going to reach your right arm out long reach your left arm out long, and then you're going to round your spine, bring your left elbow to your right knee, crunching your core, and then back out. We're gonna do this 
for 10 each side. So again, moving the body very similarly as we do in that five jump, but working on strengthening up our core. The core is key for having accuracy as it allows us to have more control over the trunk of our body. So we'll go 10 on the other side. You might notice that one side feels a little bit more challenging than the other, and that's completely expected. All of us have imbalances between the two sides, and we want to try to bring those imbalances as close, or eliminate those imbalances and make the sides as symmetrical as possible. Good. Once you get 10 each side, guys, we're going to go on to the next one. The last one we're going to do today is a three-legged dog. This one is a great stretch for our calves, so lower part of the leg and the back of the leg. You're going to be in a push-up position. You're going to drive your knee in towards your chest. You're going to push that back heel down towards the ground and then back forward. So this is working on the mobility of that ankle, which you're going to need when you perform that single leg jump or any jump for that matter. Two to three second pause. We want this to be dynamic. So you want to move through the stretch because we are actively participating in a workout. So we want the movements and the stretches to resemble that. It's going to help us to move better and to feel better. And it also provides a little bit of a break from in between the other two exercises. That wraps up our strength circuit. You had split squats. I want two to four sets of eight repetitions. Bird dogs, two to four sets of 10 repetitions. And three-legged dog, two to four sets of five repetitions each side. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, these exercises are going to help build strength, balance, um, which is gonna help with your accuracy and control over your body when performing that five jump screen, which in turn is going to help you guys reduce the likelihood of injury, whether you are an athlete on playing field or athlete just walking down the street. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you like what you saw? Was it easy to do? Was it really challenging? Do you have any questions for me? I want to hear from you guys. That concludes our five part, five jump screen. That will be our last video. Stay tuned for next week for a new exercise video. If you want more of The Millie Life, you can follow us on social media at The Millie Life, all one word. Um, check out the links below. I have all my gear, all my equipment that I use to record and create content for this channel and for you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Danielle. This is The Millie Life and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.